Tonight, CNN has learned President-elect Trump will soon be briefed by leaders of the U.S. intelligence community, including chief spy James Clapper and CIA director John Brennan, on the unprecedented interference of the U.S. election system. The high-profile briefing will come after months of Trump publicly challenging the intelligence community's assessment Russia is to blame. It could be somebody else. And I also know things that other people don't know, and so they cannot be sure. It could be Russia, but it could also be China. It could also be lots of other people. It also could be somebody sitting on their bed that weighs 400 pounds, okay? Maybe there is no hacking. But they always blame Russia. And the reason they blame Russia is because they think they're trying to tarnish me with Russia. President Obama ordered the full review last month to look at the cyber intrusions impacting U.S. elections going back to 2008, and specifically the hack against the Democratic Party during the 2016 election. Expected in the public version of the report, newly declassified information laying out the evidence supporting the intelligence community's assessment that the Russian government is the perpetrator. President Obama and this administration is 100 percent certain uh, in the role that Russia played in trying to sow doubt uh, and confusion uh, and getting involved through the cyber domain into our electoral process. The information is there and it's rock solid. Tonight, U.S. officials tell CNN companies across the country have detected IP addresses and malware that could be connected to Russian hackers, though it's unclear if they penetrated the networks. The discovery comes after the FBI and DHS put out this report last week naming the Russian hacking operation Grizzly Step and warning companies what to be on the lookout for. The intelligence community has also traced the hack back to specific keyboards with the Cyrillic text, an alphabet used by Russians. Adding to U.S. intelligence officials' confidence, Russia carried out the hack. Today, Russia dismissed that evidence. A Kremlin spokesman saying Cyrillic characters can be used everywhere. Once again, I reject any possibility that official Russia can be involved in any way.